Hola, Espasonic. Welcome to the dance fair here on Ibiza. My name is Sebastian. I would like to show you a little bit of Cubasis in case you don't know it yet. Cubasis is our application on the iPad. It's basically a, a full grown Cubase, but you can run it on your iPad. And uh, if you don't know it yet, um, just a quick overview of uh, what it can do. What you have here are several tracks. This can be audio tracks, can also be MIDI tracks. The one I've selected right here is the MIDI tracks. You can actually see the MIDI notes. If I double tap, I get the editor, um, just like you would expect it. Um, I can see all the MIDI notes, for example. I can move them, listen to them, like this, the Hyatt, for example. What I uh, can also do is here, for example, this is audio. I have uh, all the functions I need to edit it on the go while I'm on the road. Um, and uh, what you also, of course, have is, um, let's have a look, uh, for example, insert effects. So if you say you want to do a, like a rough mix uh, while you're uh, on the go, you can just, for example, open up uh, the studio queue, start to EQ, whatever you need to do. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, and uh, of course it comes loaded with uh, instruments already. So um, say um, you want to uh, actually record something on the fly. Um, then uh, you can just, for example, uh, use this track right here. And what I'm using right now is um, the Microlog, which is a synthesizer that's already built into Cubasis. And, um, I will just spray the project a little bit so you can hear what's actually going on. And then I would like to focus on uh, like the one basic new feature uh, in 1.8 that we released, um, which is pretty awesome, which is automation. But for now, um, let's just uh, have a listen so you can see what's going on. So you have all those tracks playing, by the way, you can record uh, from up to 24 uh, physical inputs. Uh, that's pretty cool. Right now um, we have connected it to the UR44, which is um, the device um, you see right there. It has a dedicated um, mode, CC mode for connecting it to the iPad. Um, okay, enough of that. Now let's say um, you really want to uh, mix while on the fly. Um, then we can uh, open up, um, for example, the mixer and scroll over to, for example, the drum kit. Now you can see there are read and write buttons and I now write enable the drum track. Simply hit play. And now I can, for example, move the fader around to build like an intro, for example, for the drums. And disengage the write button and now if I go back and leave read enable turned on, you will see that the fader will of course follow whatever I've done um, on the mix. And you can do that of course, for example, here for the guitars. You can do that on everything that you can automate in Cubasis. And if I want to edit that, I simply double tap. Sorry, let me go to the automation panel. Edit the volume. And I can see what I've automated right here. Now these are quite a lot of um, automation points, so I simply double tap, select them all, and I tap reduce. So instantly I have a more uh, easily to edit um, line right here for the automation. I can of course also manually edit, drag and drop, anything you would expect, which is really awesome. You can really create dynamic mixes or uh, productions that way while you're on the go. I would say um, that's enough for now for just a short introduction on Cubasis and uh, have fun and uh, well, see you next time. Bye bye.